Good afternoon, everyone. This is Miss Lily, and today I'm going to show you some pencil shading techniques that I find the most useful when I sketch. You're going to need paper, pencil, and a heart full of curiosity and patience to watch through my video. First, draw four rows of five boxes. These boxes don't have to be perfect. You can go ahead and label each the techniques that we are going to learn, which is hatching, cross hatching, scribble, and pressure control. We will be shading these boxes from light to dark, starting from the left side. Hatching. Fill the first box with a series of parallel lines with generous space in between. For the next box, same thing. But this time, you draw the lines a little bit closer to each other. Notice how I'm lifting my pencil up each time I draw a new line. It's important to always lift up your pencil for each line. Continue with this pattern until the lines are starting to overlap. Cross hatching, starting off with a series of parallel lines as well. This time, on top of these lines, add another series of lines that are at an angle. For the next box, do the same thing, but this time, add one more series of lines on another different angle. And then continue with this pattern. Scribble. This one is easy and fun, starting with a little bit of scribble in the first box. And then for the next box, add a little bit more scribble than the previous box. Continue with this pattern until when you reach the very last box, you got a full, densely packed scribbles. Pressure control. This is a very important one. I might have already done this during the previous exercises. For this, I'm going to shade these five boxes without lifting my pencil up. Starting by pressing very, very soft at the beginning and then a little bit harder and harder as I move toward the right side. Now I have a gradient of light to dark. If you find yourself struggling with drawing lightly, you can try holding your pencil farther away from the tip of the pencil. This allows you to naturally draw lighter. That's it. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to draw and shade a simple flower and base that puts these four basic shading techniques into practice.